Hey there, all my top prop people. Welcome back to Broadway by Ghostlight and another brisk winter prop table Tuesday. I'm Mark Bonani, and I sincerely hope you guys are enjoying this weekly series. I know it's been a minute since I've posted a breakdown or anything else. Not to get too personal on Maine, I guess. But uh, between me and my girls, we've all been super sick lately. I had minor surgery recently that had some complications. Um, I had a sudden family member a loss in my family um that's that's been hard and uh plus it's christmas week uh so uh very merry christmas to all of you who celebrate and uh happy hanukkah to those who celebrate hanukkah uh and happy whatever you celebrate happy holidays yeah anyway uh things just keep getting delayed over here at probably by ghostlight but i assure you more great things are coming in the new year uh, should I show you a preview of what show that's going to be broken down next? I think that's pretty exciting. If you think that's exciting too, hit that like button and let me know down in the comments. Such a YouTuber. Enough about all of that. Let's just jump into this week's prop from a mega flop musical that somehow is already over 10 years old. Time moves too fast. Sunrise, sunset. On April 26, 2012, the musical Leap of Faith opened on Broadway at the beautiful St. James Theatre. It promptly closed two and a half weeks later on May 13th. Wow, that was fast. Based on the 1992 comedy slash drama film of the same name that starred Steve Martin, the musical version starred Raul Esparza, Kendra Kassebaum, Jessica Phillips, and Leslie Odom Jr. It tells the story of a con man working a religious tent revival scheme throughout the U.S., but in the little town of Sweetwater, Kansas, the phony preacher gets his own faith tested and finds the power of love. That's the power of love. What I managed to snag from the show is part of the set dressing for when the band of con people, I guess, arrive in town. The set had a bunch of corn stalks that were part of the set, and when I spotted one of those corn stalks at a Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS flea market one year, I had to have it. Ta-da! It's corn! Mmm, corn. So here we have a, uh, you know, uh, what's it made out of? Muslin, maybe? Some kind of hard material that's been hardened with something. I'm sure there's some kind of... Maybe you in the comments can tell me. You guys have been really helpful in the comments uh, about the cane metal and stuff like that. Some really great people out there. So if you know what kind of material this is, it's some sort of muslin wrapped around, I don't know, bamboo or probably just plastic. Nope, just plastic PVC. But it's meant to look like an old withering corn stalk. And somewhere on here is written... Leap of Faith. You guys know how I feel about writings on stuff, but Leap of Faith 2012. Yes. It's it's pretty fragile, actually. It looks, I mean, it's sort of withered even more so than intended uh, over the last 10 years. But uh, it's just a fun, random prop or set dressing, I guess. Now, for me, it doesn't really matter if I liked the show or not. He didn't like it one bit. When it comes to props from Broadway musical, especially flops, I am all in. To me, it feels like a divine mission to help save these items and preserve them for uh, the sake of musical theater history. So I do feel lucky to have this piece from such a short run of a show. Were any of you lucky? or unlucky enough to see Leap of Faith on Broadway during its short run? A shade of an <laughs> As always, if there is a show you'd love to see a prop from, let me know in the comments, and if I've got it, I'll show it to you. Thank you all so much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons over on Patreon for their support. Go out and check my page there, uh, and find out how to get your name in each and every video going forward. But until next Tuesday, this is Broadway by Ghostlight. I'm Mark Badani. Thanks for watching.